Hey guys, welcome. Merry Christmas to all of you. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful holidays. And I hope to uh, show you guys honestly a little bit of the presents that I got this year for Christmas. And just show you my initial impressions of just, you know, coffee on the holidays, okay? And so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is I finally upgraded from this pressurized porta filter to a bottomless, so a non pressurized uh, porta filter basket, okay? So that's the first thing that I got this year, okay, as an upgrade. And the second one is finally getting a proper hand grinder. So this right here is the JX Pro, uh, JX Pro 1Z Presso. This is a really, really, really good value proposition espresso hand grinder and so i'm going to show you guys hopefully and today i'm going to actually attemptively time my shot to see how good i'm doing on getting a proper espresso for the ratio that i'm kind of going to go for okay so first off is actually a little bit of fine tuning as you can see here the really cool thing with this with this hand grinder is actually you have the knob on top so what you could do is you could adjust it with that little dot right here so you'd start with zero and per click it counts as one click and for each one, it has sub-clicks. So you'd have three in each section. And so my, my after tuning it a little bit to the beans that I have currently, I am actually one click below seven. And that's where I found it to be about right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys in real time. Okay, so I actually dosed out beforehand 17 grams of coffee. And I'm gonna put it in here, just give it a good little shake, like so. Okay, and then you just put the the cover on top right here. And I'm gonna show you guys how long it takes to actually really start to get going, okay? And then I can talk to you guys about like the differences and the kind of like what I've noticed from my personal experience in actually using a hand grinder. So I definitely noticed that there's a lot more flavor, a lot more texture, a lot more body. It's not a shallow tasting with this. And should be told, I thought that it was gonna be kind of annoying waking up every morning and just trying to hand grind manually and I honestly found that it wasn't as bad. Like it, naturally, if you could pay three, four times the price where you can get a Eureka Mignon, but those are really, really, really expensive grinders. And I'm sure that this is quite comparable in terms of flavor profiling to those and how you can honestly get each micro adjustment. So you can get some really, really, really dialed in shots from this if with a couple of, a couple of times just to practice. And so as you can see here, I'm just doing a little bit slow. Usually I'd like to do a little bit faster, but for just on camera, it's a little bit hard to concentrate, but it's it's not a lot of effort to do this, but it definitely does take some time. And you definitely will be able to just, you can tell when it's starting to kind of go like that. And usually when you're done, you can kind of give it a good couple of spins and it's just pretty effortless. Otherwise, you, you know when you're done. So then when you're done, you just like to pull this off right here. Just like to give it a good couple of shakes and i'm going to use let's see this is the old one right here and so we're going to be using this head today so i'm going to just put it right here snap it in place like so okay and as usual just turn on the machine again three seconds love that about this machine it's really effortless okay so then you slide right here and what i like to do is i just like to kind of just go like that give it a good couple of shakes taps just to get down and then like so okay and it's really good it's pretty pretty low retention so what i like to do is i just like to press it with my hand kind of even out the grounded coffee inside the basket and i'm still practicing actually just trying to not get a lot of channeling it's, mm, it's a progress thing for sure and i feel like it's definitely something that a distributor would help with but for now, I just like to just move it around with my finger like so until I get a nice flat bed. And then whenever I'm ready, I actually like to just bring it up to the corner like so. And just like that and give it a good polish. Okay. Put it off to the side, give it a good little wipe like so. And then whenever you're ready, just put it in here like that. And I'm actually going to time this shot like I told you guys, so we'll have that on. And let me grab a cup real quick. Okay, and so we're going to put it here, zero it out, and right here. Let's 
be the shot. Okay, heavy pre-infusion right now. As you can see right there, it's about 35, 36 on the scale. And this is pretty good relatively because around here you get around, uh, it's supposed to come around to 50 grams of water that's going through, but of course you're gonna have some natural absorption. And we put in 17 grams of coffee. So that's a really good cup right here. So right here, actually, let me try this out and see. Give it a good little stir right here, and you have the crema right there. Looks really good. Really good shot, actually. And then just give it a good try. Really good shot. Really good shot. Very, very flavor. Very flavorful. Very balanced. Very full body taste. And I feel like, actually, it's a little bit on the sour side, so maybe I could definitely get a little bit better of an extraction. But I feel, honestly, in comparison to using this old pressurized basket it's night and day difference and these two upgrades right here couldn't highly recommend more to get really 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 good really consistent espresso shots and yeah and just uh hopefully guys uh you gain something especially with this machine right here definitely a really capable machine and just wanted to kind of show you guys just like my first initial impressions and still kind of getting adjusted to it, but definitely something to worth a worthwhile investment if you guys are planning on getting the Revel Bambino. Thank you guys.